Right, welcome to our Advanced Study Center, St. George's Mansion. And we are broadcasting from the reception area. Julie, hello. How are you today? Are you? Good, good. It's all very festive right now in run up to the Christmas holidays. And that's our hello. Lovely reception. We're going to look inside some of our classrooms. This is a geography classroom. As you can see, it gives that impression. And here we're going along the some of the snapshots of our former students and some of the activities they were involved in. So this was the debating competition back in 2016. We host it every year in partnership with the Oxford Union. And this is a snapshot of a prof professorial talk uh, which was taking place in the boarding house and um, these are our staff, tutors and students and this is a snapshot of the end of term graduation party so um, one of the tutors, Julian, a physics tutor, he's also a keen opera singer so he performed during one of those events and this is our seminar room where students at the moment obviously it is deserted because this is the last day of term students are finishing early but usually here we hold supervised study seminars and private studies as well a quiet place where students can get on with their assignments in between their classes. Alma, Julia, and Isra. So, end of term. Everyone is excited about Christmas holidays. If we don't see you guys, have a wonderful Christmas time. Thank you. Happy holidays. All right, so Julie's gonna take over for this part. Julie, hello. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to show you one of our notice boards, and it represents um, everything that we've been into this academic year, which is the topic of AI, technologies, and whatnot. We've been um, looking into it for a long time. Uh, we've been partnering up with Sutarja Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Uh, UC Berkeley and uh, we've uh, done a number of uh, workshops and uh, boot camps over the span of this uh, academic year um, to really help our students excel in this topic uh, to those who are interested in IT, AI and business specifically and uh, they've worked very hard to um, achieve success and to work with some of the top business uh, personalities um, and to produce their own um, projects at the end. So this is something we are really proud of. Um, moreover, we've also launched Oxbridge Foundation this year to help those students in need who really need some additional support um, with their studies and um, we help them access this higher tier education so that they can then invest in the future, in the economy of their country and of course of the countries that welcome, welcome them uh, and uh, that is. Thank you so much Julie, that was really comprehensive and um, I hope it gives our viewers just a more understanding of what the college is about and our ethos and values and some of the directions which we're trying to pursue uh, with the international partnerships and the foundation and to expand our offering for um, the young people of the 21st century so they are really getting the, the best education. Okay, so we are going up the stairs, we're now on the third floor. As you can see, 
and NASA notice board about some of the activities which were taking place, or some of the student clubs which are available, or seminars which were held. And this is just a corridor with the tutorial rooms. Um, and the upper library, um, so we've shown you the um, lower library, now we are the social and the upper library. Julian is here. Julian, hello. Hi. What are you up to? Studying psychology. Studying psychology? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Is it, is it, how is it going? Is it exciting? It's going, it's going all right, yeah. A lot of things right. to learn and write, research yeah. method. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so this is our upper library and as we have explained already, it's a quiet space. So we are making a lot of noise here. So we better behave. This is the place where students have their lunches and also they use it as a chill out zone as they like to call it um, as well as uh, sometimes it is used for school assemblies and um, some student meetings. So as you can see the uh, the chairs are arranged in such a way that there was probably recently a, an assembly held and uh, so this is just to give you an idea of the space and what it's like and um, it's on the same floor as the library so if you want to do some group work and uh, obviously you can't be too loud in the library so this is where students can come in they can work in groups have their lunch and then if they need a more quiet space to work they can go to the library and work on their assignments um, or homework. I can hear he's busy typing away something. I hope we're not interrupting. Oh. Ah. Alan, hello. Oh, hello. hello. I know it's unexpected. We are um, we are doing a little footage okay. for our agents and international partners, and we were hoping to introduce you. Could you okay. just briefly so, introduce uh, yourself? Yes, yeah, so I'm here as uh, as 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 exams officer, which. Uh, where is your lighting girl? <laughs> which, which is kind of, you know, this is my, uh, this is my, my, my exams officer ticket. And um, I'm also here as a UCAS advisor with uh, my uh, guide to the uh, UK uh, universities. And I'm also here sometimes as a, as a, as a politics tutor here. I'm, I'm also doing that. And I'm also uh, in the process of, uh, which is a new project, um, constructing an outline for our uh, BTEC uh, HNC and HND program which is something we hope to be developing in the new year so that's very exciting we're really looking forward to that excellent okay. Alan, thank you so much that's all right. if we don't see you before Christmas we'll have an uh, excellent thank Christmas thank so, thank, and, thank and so happy much. new year okay thank you so much thank again you. and uh, yes uh, we're looking forward to the new year very much thank you very thank much you. thank you thank you bye for now <laughs> Uh, we're doing a little footage, oh, yeah. and we would like to show Michael a jack of all. Uh, how do you say jack of all trades? Jack of all trades. Yeah. <laughs> jack of all trades. Michael, he's our backbone. He is the one who holds the infrastructure together. He's our facilities officer. And at the moment, Michael is doing end of term maintenance, which is, I understand, a lot of work. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, we won't take too much of his time. We shall proceed further. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> right, so now we are approaching a classroom of our senior history and politics tutor, Mr. Murphy. And he's currently, I think, preparing for his next lesson. So let's say hello. Mr. Murphy, hello. 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 I, know it's, it, I know it's unexpected. We are doing a very brief footage um, for um, some of our agents and international uh -huh. partners. And I'm just trying to capture some life at Cherville. And possibly you could briefly introduce yourself. So I Yes, of course. Hello. Good morning. I'm uh, Sean Murphy. I teach history and politics here at Charval College, both GCSE and A level. And this is my room. Uh, you can see That's maps. your base. <laughs> you can see maps of the world and books. And um, I'm preparing another lesson soon. And unfortunately, the students not not here at the moment, but will be soon. Excellent. And um, it's nice to it's nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Catherine. 
Excellent. Thank you so much. And if I don't see you before, I know it's our last day of term today. Oh, yeah. Have a very good Christmas. And you. And uh, Happy New Year. Take care. Bye. Our lovely story with Sean Murphy. You met him earlier today. Um, another great room with uh, a computer for every student, every tutor to use. IT support, <laughs> computer, <science>. computer scientists, <laughs> and uh, some other lovely photos. They were taken in the boarding house. You can see, as always, the common area. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hello, ladies. <laughs> okay, so we're on the fifth floor right now. Yeah, this is the room which we use for AI seminars. Um, just recently we've had Yash here with uh, a bunch of our tutors, very interested in all of the recent technological advancements and whatnot. So they've had a great lecture slash seminar um, on that topic. We also use fifth floor for exams and of course for some of our drama sessions and uh, general seminars for our students. You will see a wonderful view just out of the window. Um, we love this room. Yes, this is a very special room and um, it gives you a beautiful panorama view of Oxford. We can see Christ Church here. Mm -hmm. So welcome to Cherwell House. So as you can see, we are outside. Uh, this is the area where normally, when the weather's a bit nicer and sunnier, the students are allowed to come out here and enjoy their free time. You can see we have basketball hoop, we have a ping pong table over there, we have some outside furniture for them to sit in. So we encourage them to make the most of it during the rare times that we have nice weather here in England. And if you see at the front there, that is the entrance to the house. Let's go have a look inside. Welcome to Churl House. My name is Anka and I'm the head of boarding. I have with me Steve. Hi, I'm Steve. I'm the senior house parent here at Churl House. So I will start presenting you the reception. It might not sound interesting, but it is very important in our students' uh, daily life. So reception is the center of the heart of the, the house where everyone comes, have a chat, sign scenes, uh, and obviously uh, come for help if there's something to be helped with. It is a very secure house. This is the main door uh, which opens just by card, card, cards issued by us to our students. So this card will open this door as well as will open the school doors. Um, the house is very secure. We have CCTV ca cameras along the corridors, not in the bedrooms, uh, but having them help, uh, helps everyone to know what's happening in the house uh, and our students' whereabouts. So the next step is the dining room and our common room. So the, it is open uh, space, therefore we can have activities, bigger activities uh, for all our students so the common room will become the whole area, dining room and common room. So first of all, di dining room. Uh, here we have breakfast and dinner for our students, but also our students will find always fresh fruits. Uh, we have a coffee machine for them, a microwave kettle and a water dispenser. Um, it's again, a place where all the students will uh, meet, will sit together, will have their meals together. Uh, they, will, they will socialize and they will have some fun as well. So I will ask now just to have a look around this beautiful area. And as you could see, it is decorated for Christmas. So our common room is not a big one, but it is enough for all, all our students uh, to have to enjoy and have a nice time in the evenings, afternoons. So we have a board with all, all the activities presented uh, every week 
uh, and also we have a TV, we have a pool table, uh, books and everything that a student would need to have some fun. Uh, also, we have uh, useful information for our students as it would be the, the welfare phone number and also they have the possibility to express their wishes and, and suggestions in their suggestion box. Another important room is the laundry room. Not that it is fun, but uh, you have to do it. So that means that our students will come here when they have to do their laundry. So they have a washing machine and a tumble dryer. They will use them according to a schedule. Uh, they have to, uh, th they work with uh, cash. So the, our students will need some coins to put into the washing machines. It, it is exactly the same system as it is at university. It will give them some good skills for the future life in university. Bedrooms in Choral House are all identical. So it doesn't really matter if you are ground floor or first floor, you will have this room. So this room means that you will have a big room with a big double bed, which doesn't happen very often in boarding schools. So as you can see, you will have a desk, a wardrobe, a double, double bed, and obviously a bathroom. The bathroom will go at the end of it, but meantime, I can tell you that um, you can have a lovely view from your window and um, you will enjoy your staying here. Now, towels and bed, bed linen will be changed weekly by our cleaners. Uh, you don't have to wash them. They will be washed and provided for you on a weekly basis. The bathroom is not shared with anyone, which is a bonus. Uh, it is a, on a smaller side, but it is a wet room. So you will have a shower, a toilet and a sink. It is all that someone needs. Hello everyone again. We are on the fourth floor and we just couldn't miss this opportunity to show you the symbol of uh, our academic year at Chero. Pierre. Pierre. Pierre is our college mascot and he's a beautiful guy and we just thought that we he needs to be part of this footage. All right, we hope you enjoyed our mini tour and uh, we'll see you in the new year. Bye.